Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat 500 generation from year 2007 to currently year 2021. And if you need to remove, uh, to re uh, actually install hitch guys, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. An aftermarket hitch will demonstrate on a BART, but even if you have a non BART version, the procedure will be almost the same, just the hitch number, okay, will be different. So. We'll share the link in the description of the video below if you need to purchase one for a BART or non BART. Also, if you need to buy any parts too that we'll be using, I'll share the link where you can get them for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. And specifically on that Fiat, even more. Why? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That's all we need in return. This is the aftermarket hitch that we ordered. This is it. Uh, it's pretty well built, it's by uh, Kurt, it's amazing, amazing brand, we've been using them in the past quite a bit, uh, it comes with the hardware, instructions and everything, but we will make the video so we can visualize things a little bit better. The only uh, few things that you'll need is a torque wrench, a few sockets, you will need a drill, drill bit, and we'll be ready to go. So the first thing that we'll need to do, we'll need to remove the bumper diffuser, so uh, what we are going to do now, Okay, right here underneath there is two bolts with 10 millimeter socket, one on this side. Okay, let's see. And one is supposed to be right here on that side. Okay, ours is missing. Now, um, we need to remove, we have bolts with the, uh, with the Torx. Okay, let me see which Torx that is. Uh, this one is Torx 15, start looking B. Okay, and in the corners there is one bolt on, in each corner, one on the left, one on the right side. Perfect. Now, okay, then it, it has just a few clips that we're going to release, and one more on this side. Alright, perfect. Now, the only thing holding the diffuser to the bumper is practically clips, guys, at that point, I believe. We need to inspect everything to make sure we don't have. Uh, and we're going to compress them from the inside. Okay, and start pushing out. And let's find out. It's a huge storm outside, so if you hear thunder and it's loud, apologize, but it will get better. So now we'll show you what the clips look like and how to exactly remove them the moment we remove. Okay, that uh, uh, that bumper diffuser. It's like a crazy storm outside, guys, right now. Okay, it started coming out on this side. I can see it. Okay, one more clip, just release, two, and we have, okay, one more on this side, those are the clips guys, okay, one second please, okay, those are the clips, and what you need to do, okay, you need to press down, okay, with a screwdriver or a clip, prank to, and just release them. Okay, and the diffuser came out. Later we are going to need to cut this diffuser as well so we can accommodate the hitch there. Okay, you can see right now we have the exhaust here and how empty, okay, that thing is right here. So we are on the right side of the vehicle now and this is the passenger side exhaust. According to the menu it says that we need to uh, disconnect that, okay, that uh, Exhaust mount right there, one nut here, one more on the back side. Okay, let's see how we're going to get to it. If we can, I might need to get a 10 millimeter uh, wrench to be able to do that. So we'll get a wrench and we're going to go ahead and start unscrewing that thing. I'll just uh, lift it up a little bit so we don't have any tension on this one. Uh, 
let's see if it's going to come down perfect it's loose on this side let's do the other side now we need to disconnect it on the other side with a okay with the screwdriver there is a special tool that there is to actually disconnect those things but unfortunately okay we don't have this one okay so now we don't have the special tool actually for the uh, exhaust mount here but what i'm going to do with the screwdriver i'm going to disconnect it okay just like that later we're going to reinstall it so now you can see the exhaust moves that's enough for us to actually get in here a little bit fiat chrysler corporation right here guys so now we're on the passenger side and uh, right here you need to remove that tape okay this is for uh it has a pre-welded nut on the inside so we're going to leave that one uh now right here that rubber cap needs to come out save those guys because later you may need them if you decide to okay remove the hitch remove the one on this side now the only hole that we will need to uh, drill and make bigger is the one right here on the front okay this is on the driver's side you can see i'm on the driver's side next to the exhaust on the very back side past that square okay will be that little hole that we will need to pre-drill on this side we're going to use this hole this and the one on the front so three bolts on this side and two on the driver's side so we have the drill according to the thing it says 7 16 we're using uh, 3 8 which is 6 16 and if we have to we have one a step bigger always use eye protection guys i'll try to pull the exhaust to the side and go slow and we're going to go ahead go ahead drill the hole and we'll continue So we're getting there as you can see, almost, almost there. Almost just a little bit more. So we got in guys, it's all the way in. We're going to make the hole a little bit bigger and we'll see now. Uh, let's check if the bolt can go through okay that hole but we need to think that it's going to come in an angle so we'll need to get the bigger okay the bigger drill 716 that's why they said the uh, 3 8 will not work so this one went in here perfect Okay, let's try the board now. Okay, let's try one board and see if it can go in. Yep, perfect. That's it. So we can continue with the next step. We need to uh, sweep everything here because we have the metal shavings and that can get stuck in your skin eyes. So always be careful, guys. So we need to get a board. We need to get a <coughs> rectangular piece as well. We're going to screw it now to the spring. Okay, because we'll be doing some fishing now, guys. It's like thread now. So let's go ahead, do that. Okay, the whole piece. Let's do the whole, a few more things. So make sure it can go through. Now we're going to go through a hole. Okay, we're going to go from the square hole to the other hole on the back side. Remember, the big hole we need to go to, not the one with the pre-welded net. Hold on, okay. So that will take a little bit of time to get there, but once we get it done, Okay, we will, guys, <laughs> show you how to do it. Probably it may take us a minute or two. So, let's go ahead and do that now. So you can see we caught the other end. Now we have to get the bolt. Okay, and that square piece, they need to come kind of like a little bit separated. Okay, like that. Then put the ball in. Perfect. Now you kind of like need to guide it a little bit. Okay, that's it. Right there, guys. Check it out. It's stuck. 
now <coughs> we need to do the same thing okay for this side we need to do two bolts exactly the same thing okay let's go ahead and do that and we'll continue so uh, we got the other two bolts in you can see they're waiting so I'm going to pull the exhaust down now we're going to pull okay right here one second okay we need to get the fishing through the through the heat so they don't fall okay and what we're going to do now the same thing on this side so we're going to lift it up and go through the boats now that's what the plan is now i recommend to get one of the little boats and secure it on the passenger side that way it's not going to move anywhere so we installed one of the nuts on the driver side it was actually easier than installing a little boat that way it can stay up now we're going to go to the passenger side and we'll continue here now so let's see well, okay, here we have the exhaust mount. Okay, I need to remove that exhaust mount. Out of the way, so. Okay, like that, we're going to align everything. Okay, and install the hardware there as well. So, we got a torque wrench, guys. Okay, and according to the uh, manual for our specific one, always check yours, it says 70 foot pound for the big nuts so we're going to do that once you hear a click stop immediately if you use too much of an extension that can affect torque as well so the best scenario is without using extensions okay let me lift up that exhaust a little bit okay i'll hold it like that so we have a little bit of room listen now for that click and you need to stop immediately that's it now one on this side okay we're getting there listen now Okay, almost there. That's it. You can see 70 foot pound, guys. That's quite a bit of a torque. So we need to do one on this side now. Let me clear here a little bit. The exhaust, have more clearance. Almost. that's it the little ones according to the menu it says 26 foot pounds so let me adjust the wrench and we'll continue okay we have it preset for the little ones listen for the click now it will be less noticeable because it's less torque That's it. One more. That's a little bit of a worn socket, so we need to be careful not to skip. Listen now for that torque click. That's it guys, so we're ready to continue with the next step. So we're going to connect the exhaust on the passenger side. All we have to do, install two, uh, okay, two 10 millimeter nuts now. And just get them tied. That way we'll be able to connect it, reconnect it easier on the driver side, hopefully. And then after that, we need to cut the diffuser. 
so it can accommodate that hitch. And let's go ahead do that. Perfect. Now we need to install on the one on the driver's side. If you use uh, lubrication, okay, a little bit of uh, lubrication works better. So I think I got it in. Let's go ahead and see if we can install it now. Okay, let me let me position the camera because actually I will need to be helping there too. Two people will be doing that job, I believe. Okay, perfect. Just like that. Now all we have to do push it in. Okay, that's it. Exhaust is ready. Set. Now, uh, according to the manual, guys, here. Okay. Next step will be cutting the, okay, let me get all the pieces that we have here. We need to cut the diffuser. So let me see where that paper went actually for the diffuser cutting and the dimensions, how much it needs to be cut actually so it can clear the hitch. So now we need to find the middle, okay, the middle of the thing, perfect, about right there. And according to the thing, we need to cut about three inches wide to four and a half inches deep. So, okay, now that's perfect right here. We need to measure everything. Now let's make it about four inches deep. Okay, now we need to make sure that everything is square looking. Okay, when we cut, and we'll be ready to go after that. So let's get it over the cardboard. So we need to get a bigger knife and we're going to get it all the way. And that should be enough to clear the hitch and the diffuser will still have some part of it left on the back side so it won't, shouldn't be too noticeable. We'll see how it looks and give you recommendations after that. So let's see if it's going to come loose now. It looks like it's uh, this one right here, it's already pretty cut. So just try to get in the same. Perfect. Okay, one side is done. We just have two more to go, one more down, just the back side and we'll be ready. That's it guys, that piece is out. Now let's see if we can install the diffuser. So we're installing the diffuser now. Okay, we need to align everything really good. And on this side, I think it's not in. Let's just align everything good, okay. Okay, it, cli it clicked on this side. 
on there as well. Now check out how clean that thing looks. It looks amazing so far guys. I mean when we cut it, it's perfect right on the spot. It's no more no less. So everything is measured correctly. So yeah, all you have to do, do the diffuser and practically you're all ready to go. You have a hitch for your Fiat 500. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.